Is Dakota Ebear under or overrated? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. Let me just say thank you to a bunch of people. Mark and Hank and Greg and gosh, there's so many people that I should thank every every day. People that share my stuff on their Facebook pages. I really do appreciate it. People who are members. I want to just say thank you. Thank you to all the members, all the new subscribers, all the people who comment, who are interactive. I really do appreciate it. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be because it's free and all you got to do is click that button. But become part of the team and family and I really do appreciate it. So this will be part two of under or overrated. And I thought this was someone that I wanted to talk about, Dakota Ebear. Currently, Dakota's trying to qualify for the Bassmaster Elites. He is fishing the Opens and is in 8th or ninth place as I do this video. Before that, he was with Major League Fishing, where he had two wins on the Bass Pro Tour. He had 28 top 10s, he had 51 top 20s, and two Red Crest appearances. And his career earnings are $1.1 million. But let's take a step back. Dakota has been fishing for some time. His mom, Mary, taught him how to fish, or took him fishing. And he is... A mama's boy and that is not a bad thing he played baseball as a young man and he looked up to kvd as he grew up and started fishing and at age 17 he fished his first derby on a friday night and got a check so that's pretty darn good but he started fishing professionally around 2019 on the flw tour and then moved into major league fishing in 2021 and then the bpt in 2022 and on the BPT, he did fabulous. He was fourth in Angular of the Year points in 2022. In 2023, he was fifth in Angular of the Year points. And Dakota's one of these all-around outdoorsmen. He likes to hunt. He likes to fish. And one point in time, he thought he was going to be a rodeo bullfighter. And that's crazy. And Dakota is really driven as a young man. His work ethic has shown throughout his career that he's willing to do what it takes to not only be a great angler, but also be great outside of bass fishing. And he has really humble beginnings in his fishing career. And that means to me that it's someone that we should root for and we should celebrate. His sponsors include Strike King, Lose, Bass Pro Shops, Nitro Boats, Mercury, Mercury Marine, Power Pole, Garmin, and TASF, which I don't know what that means. And when you look back at his short career, while he's a scoper probably, he really has been exceptional. And his humble beginnings on not even knowing if he had enough gas to go to a spot in a fishing derby because he needed to have that money to put gas in his car so he didn't go fish it. The stories that you hear around him about how humble he is and how good he is with his mom and his family, he really is an exceptional young man. And I say exceptional, I say young man because I'm a lot older than him. And while his YouTube and Instagram aren't killing it, he still does good content. In, on YouTube, he has 1.6 thousand followers. On Instagram, it's over 15,000. But when you hear this and his stories and you learn about him and then his career stats and how he's done, is Dakota over or underrated? That's what I want you to tell me. I'm looking forward to seeing Dakota in the elites. I hope he qualifies. I really hope he qualifies. And for me, just knowing that in the two years that he was with BPT and having a fourth and a fifth in Angler of the Year with the Angler's name, the names that are over on the BPT, that really says a lot about just how great of an angler he is. But you're in charge of telling me if he's under or overrated. So comment below and tell me what you think. Is he underrated or is he overrated? Thanks for hitting that like and the subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate you all. I'm humbled by the whole thing. So remember, take a good fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Cheers and thank you.